have cystic fibrosis, which places me into the clinically extremely vulnerable and high risk category. So I've been shielding for almost a year now. Um, so I haven't left my home and I haven't seen most of my friends and family at all. This has taken a massive toll on my physical and mental health because I've had I've had to spend most of the pandemic managing my health from home because my cystic fibrosis ward turned into the COVID ward at my hospital. Three weeks ago, I was lucky enough to have my first dose of the COVID vaccine, but it was bittersweet. I am so lucky and privileged to be able to have it. And I was excited that I'm now one step closer to hopefully holding my nan again. But it angers me that I got access to the vaccine before a lot of my family in India who haven't been able to leave their flats and homes for a whole year. I shouldn't have access to the vaccine before them. It's disgusting and unfair. Our lives in the West are not more valuable than the rest of the world. To be honest, I feel guilty that I got the vaccine before them. Everybody should be able to access a vaccine no matter where they live. And my life is not worth more than theirs. And it upsets me that they're, they're left waiting for a first dose while I'm counting the weeks until I'll get my second. And now we've learned that some of the vaccines that India are making for poorer countries are being redirected to increase supplies in the West. The UK already got preferential access to the vaccine and bought up large supplies of vaccine candidates even before they were proven to be effective, which left low and middle income countries with nothing. Now they're taking away the supplies that have been produced for these poorer countries too. It's unfair and we must have equitable global access. After all, it is a global pandemic, but millions of people across the world will not get access to a vaccine anytime soon. This is because 75% of global COVID vaccinations have taken place in just 10 countries and 130 countries are yet to receive a single dose. This isn't okay. Big Pharma are profiting off these vaccines, which have been developed with billions of pounds of public money, while people are still dying without access. How can they profit while others are suffering and dying? This could have been prevented if they just shared their knowledge. It's sickening and it's happened before time and again. Just look at the AIDS crisis and how people struggled. And in many countries, people continue to struggle for access to life-saving medications while Big Pharma companies profit and we can't let it continue. We cannot allow market forces to continue to dictate the value of lives. So this is why at Just Treatment, we are part of the People's Vaccine Alliance and why we'll be taking part in the People's Vaccine of Action tomorrow, the day tomorrow. Without widespread global vaccination, further mutations and strains of COVID threaten to undermine the UK's response. None of us are safe until everybody is safe. So let's make sure Big Pharma hear our, cru our crucial message. Thank you for listening.